channel and if you're new to my channel hi my name is Mackenzie and this is actually a um, video that I've a type of video I've never really done before but I'm really excited because I feel like I want to start doing videos like this because the whole vlogging thing just isn't giving me like a ton of joy anymore so we're gonna try this out and um, I hope y'all like it because I feel like it's going to be so much fun. Alright, so today I'm going to be telling stories about military spouse. I am so excited for this because I've gotten so many stories and I have so many to tell y'all. So that being said, there's going to be like multiple parts to this um, This. Um, this is Rem Rem, or Remington. She is my, my kitty. Anyways, um, go, 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 go. There's going to be many different, um, uh, videos or parts to this. So I guess it can be like part of a series, um, military horror stories. But like, I, oh my goodness. Cat blood. Like I've said before, this is, um, like the first time I've ever done like a video like this. So if the audio or lighting is like trash i'm sorry if i decide to start doing more videos like this i will hopefully get all the things that i need to make it better so let's just get into it um i have not read any of these i was sent all of them and i just copied and pasted them into my notes so that i could be surprised for y'all so, um, yeah, we're gonna just get started. And I'm gonna be taking off my makeup during this too because uh, it's night night time and I need to get this makeup off. So, pony. Okay, here we go. Ooh, military spouse horror story. I had a fellow military spouse neighbor one time in Virginia Beach who moved and when I came home and opened my door she broke into my house and put all her stuff in my house including her two dogs who peed and pooped everywhere and when I asked her why and when she was coming to get her stuff she told me not to worry about it and to shoot her dog. Oh my god. Trigger warning. And to shoot her dogs for all she cared. She then tried to press charges on me because I put all her stuff outside of my house except the two dogs because she had nice gaming systems that could have been ruined. It was definitely a weird experience. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Okay, so this is your neighbor. This is your neighbor. Who, um, who just randomly broke into your house, put all her shit in your house, then put her two dogs in your house, and when you were like, um, uh, hey, what's up? She was like, oh yeah, all my, all my shit's in, your, in, in there, and uh, you can just kill my dogs, please. No! What the hell is wrong with people? Ugh. Okay. Ugh. Crazy pants. That was... At first I thought this was going to be like a, ooh, this could be a good one. And then it got to the whole dog thing and that just like, mm, that was just too much. Oh, you don't joke about animals being killed. Like, do you watch movies? Usually when you're watching movies, you're more sad about the pet or the animal, just any animal dying rather than the people. I know that sounds terrible, but like the animals. No, you can't kill animals in movies. You can't. Or real life. <sighs> All right. Next story, hopefully it's not as sad. I met a girl that met her husband on Tinder while he was on deployment. He changed his Tinder location they talked for three months and got married the week he got back from deployment. Their wedding was their first time meeting. Then he volunteered for another deployment for a month later as a newlywed. 
blew my mind, never spoke to her again. What? <laughs> and it's so funny because I feel like this is actually so normal. Like, like, I mean, a lot of, even if you're not in the military, like, you know, community, like, you know that, like, a lot of times soldiers, like, marry, like, that because of, like, the benefits that they can get. Um, which, I mean, it's not really that, like, weigh the pros and cons. The small benefits that you get and being married to someone you just met. Mm, yeah. Um, so that's just crazy. Um, he probably went on a deployment because he just wanted to get married to her for the benefits and then was like, okay, now that I'm married, I have all my benefits and now I'm gonna deuce out. That's, that's sad. It's sad. But I feel like that is, uh, that's probably what happened. I'm gonna drink this. I hope y'all don't mind. It is a Jack Daniels Black Jack Cola. It is so freaking delicious. So, it's a Sunday night. And I'm about to drink this. What, what? Alright, that was a short, but... To the point, um, I probably wouldn't talk to her again either because I would probably say something or, I don't know, I'd be like, girlfriend, you know why he married you, don't you? Don't you? Anyways, next one. Hey, so a lady in my neighborhood that I kind of knew asked to hang out. She said wine and chat, which I was fine with. She showed up plastered. Okay. Okay, plastered, okay. I had to get her to the backyard so she wouldn't wake up my baby. Ooh, plastered and baby do not mix, honey. She drank two bottles of wine before I finished my first glass. What the? Okay. I got us some snacks, cheese crackers, salami, and nuts and hoped it would sober her up some. She told me, called she told me to call her husband wait what she told me called her husband to bring us margaritas but shortly after she started talking to some guy about how she loved him and how she felt when he kissed her and that they weren't meant to be together her next is i'm like with the like eye emoji and that's literally what i just did um, because her husband was right down the road. Then she openly admitted to having to be drunk to be around her her kids and to watch other people's kids. Oh my god. I warned those I knew whose kids she had watched before. And I thank god that I never allowed her to watch my daughter. She stayed on the phone with this guy completely ignoring me. And I finally said I need to go to bed. She stood up and dropped my plate my plate to answer a facetime from this guy literally just let go of the plate to answer the phone and beg this guy to come live with her he kept reminding her she was married and she could she would change the subject we haven't talked since what the fuck y'all what i have lived in this house on this post at fort hood for coming up two years now you want to know how many friends I've met and how many friends I have? Zero. Zero. Like, not even kidding you, I have zero friends. And that could be my fault. Like, maybe I'm just like, I just don't know where to meet these people. Like, where do y'all, where are y'all meeting these, these people? Like, where are you meeting these people? Especially these freaking crazy, batshit crazy people. Like, what? Okay. If I was her, I would not have let her like stay i would be like ew can you leave one two ew get the hell off of the phone call with some other dude when your husband's literally down the street or i will say something i don't care about girl code when it comes no that's not okay i hate cheating and all that so mm -mm. no baby girl um <sighs> that's gross um, and then watching your kids, you have to be drunk. Are you kidding me? Like, uh-uh. 
I would, I, after that, I would have been like, bye. Bye. That was crazy. I don't know where y'all are meeting these people. Like, where are you meeting these people? Because I still have not, I don't even think I've talked to anybody new or anybody like I never met before ever since moving here. I'm not even kidding you. So this is my mom's story. So I don't know the name of the neighbor, but we're gonna call her Jessica. So basically my mom and dad were at their house drinking outside with all their friends and people who lived in the neighborhood. Old girl next door, Jessica, was apparently into my dad. What? Later in the night, as everyone started to leave, my mom's friend was super drunk, so my mom was helping her walk across the street to her house. My dad was super drunk in the bathroom, basically passed out drunk. Oh my god. Ooh, I can tell this is gonna be saucy. But Jessica helped him to the bathroom while my mom was occupied. Old girl then tried throwing themselves on the passed out drunk dad and my mom came back and realized my dad was gone and so was old girl and the front door was open. So my mom went inside and the bathroom door was locked and my mom knew she was in there. So my mom was banging on the door, said, girl, you have two seconds to open this door. Jessica wouldn't open it because she didn't want my mom's hands. <laughs> she didn't want my mama's hands. LOL. So my mom busted the, no, she did not. She busted that door down, beat the fuck out of Jessica. I'm talking slammed head against the wall, beat her. Dang, that's crazy. My mom then proceeded to drag this can't be real. Jessica bloody and all down the hall, out the house, threw her out the door and told her, if I see your face again, I'll beat your ass again. My mom then went inside and decked my <laughs> Needless to say, Jessica never came outside again. <laughs> never came outside again. And literally about hid from my mom. Then when Jessica's husband came back from deployment, he was on deployment, y'all. These bitches, oh, okay. Came back from deployment, my mom told him. From what I know, the two ended up getting a divorce. Good. Her husband should have divorced her. Ew. And I probably would have been just like her mom and told Jessica's husband too. Dude, these are insane, okay? I low-key kind of wish something like this would happen to me. My life is so boring. Hence why I don't really care to uh, do vlogs anymore because my life is so boring. Next one. I had a fellow spouse who was a good friend and agreed to keep my boys for the weekend because I was flying out of town and my husband was deployed. Anyways, I landed in Orlando and checked my voicemail and there was there were like 30. Started with her saying she found a laptop of her husband's while he was deployed and there are love letters on there to a captain. A male captain. She is losing it and I'm asking where are my boys and she said, one was with her and he took the rest to the movies. My two boys and her two boys. She is saying she's gonna kill herself and being crazy. I call a friend and ask her and her husband to go to the house and get my boys. They get there and MPs have the street blocked. It was the worst moment of my life and she asked an officer, where are the kids? My one son was there and her infant son. She had set them both on the porch. She got my son, officers had her baby, then her husband shows up and she runs with a knife in her hand. My friend's husband ran to the car, grabbed my kids, and they got out of there. She ended up going to a crazy house for a few days and that's the last I've ever heard about or from them. I Facebook stalked a few years ago and found they were still together. This was 15 years ago. What the fuck? Yeah, if I was her, I would never trust anybody. 
at least like anybody on post with my child again like only family no mm. what the hell whoa that was a lot <laughs> okay i've never experienced anything like any of these before like the most i've experienced is maybe a neighbor that we i don't like we don't talk we just like give weird glances to like that's about it <laughs> all right next one I'm a cosmetologist, so I was helping out a wife get her hair blonde. Oh, girl, I just got my hair blonde. I did it myself, though, so it's probably not perf. Um, but, yeah, I wanted to go back to my blonde self. For those of you who didn't know me before my blonde self, I was blonde before my brown hair, and I'm back, so. I'm back, baby. All right. We'd done several sessions and I had gotten her hair where she wanted. One night she got intoxicated and colored her hair back black. Oh my god. Honestly, I can't blame her. I love dyeing my hair. I'm not gonna be dyeing my hair anytime soon now. I'm gonna be keeping it blonde. But, wow. She. It took several sessions to get her blonde, which that's true, it, do, it, it does. It takes you quite a while to get you to the blonde you want, depending on how dark you were before. And she was at that blonde. And then one night she just got drunk and colored it black. That's like on the opposite spectrum. Oh, okay. She showed up at my house at 3 a.m. demanding 3 a.m. I color her hair back blonde. She'd made a mistake coloring it dark. I have never helped out a military spouse with a hair color again. She was screaming at me, telling me it was my fault and I needed to fix it. Bitch, how is that her fault? You did it while you were drunk. How is that your fault? her fault? I had to call the police and she woke up my kids who were also traumatized. Golly. Like, where do some of these wives come from? Like, is there like a, like a crazy pants, like, hole where they just like crawl out of and they show up at random, um, like, military bases and like, just go off and just be psycho? Because that's, that's what it sounds like. All right, I'm going to read one more because I've already read a good amount and there's so much more y'all. There's so much more. But I had a previous relationship with a soldier. Nothing too serious. We were just dating. We were seeing each other for a few weeks and he wanted me to meet some of his friends. So we went over there and everything was going good and his friend that I was meeting had a wife. And she seemed cool at first. Me and the dude I was with never argued until we were around them a lot. She wouldn't let us have alone time and would tell her husband, tell me her husband doesn't like me when me and the dude I was with just simply wanted alone time. She made my ex move in with her and her husband and just wanted to party. So our relationship started going downhill when he moved in. She would go between me and him and get involved in our problems and she would turn small bickering into crazy fights. So me and him got into a big fight one night and she took it into her hands to talk to him about our relationship. The very next day told me that I needed to break up with him and that he needs to be single. And she said that for over an hour, she so she manipula manipulated me into breaking up with him. This chick would wear barely anything or, oh, would wear barely anything around him and would want to be with him more than her own husband who would complain abused her. She kind of ruined trying to make friends here for me. Dang. Well, obviously it seems like the husband's wife definitely had a thing for your boyfriend because why the hell else would she be so interested and invested in your relationship with him? I don't know because who gives a crap? 
that's crazy okay so i literally just hit the surface y'all i still have man i'm like scrolling i have so many more um but that was good that was really fun okay yeah that was a lot of fun to do i hope y'all enjoyed it um and if you did give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments if you did enjoy it and um if you have any crazy military horror story military spouse horror stories um dm me like on any of my platforms my social media platforms i believe they're all just mckenzie alcara so my channel name um and or um email me i believe i have my email on i'll have my email down there too so either email me or um dm me and i would love to read them and like y'all seen they're all anonymous nobody knows where i got these from who wrote it i told everybody to change their names so um yeah you'd be completely anonymous unless it's like incredibly detailed <laughs> then uh, i don't know sorry about you but um this was fun just let me know how you liked it um what other type of things you would like me to react to because this was actually so fun and i would love to continue to do more reaction videos um so let me know in the comments and yeah i this is a long outro so i will um thank you for watching like subscribe do all the things if you want if you don't want it's cool it's cool um and i'll see y'all my next one